G'day guys, it's Paul from Polyman Astro, and in today's 5 Minute Friday, I'm going to look at how we can save projects and load projects from within PixInsight so that we can work non-destructively. This is something that Photoshop users would be very familiar with. Uh, it's one of the pluses of Photoshop over, say, Lightroom, that you can work non-destructively. So let's dive into PixInsight and I'll show you what I mean. So here's one of my images that I've been working on, the Tarantula Nebula, or I call this Shelob's Lair, and the image is at a point where I'm quite happy with. Uh, where it's at. And you can see that I've got a whole heap of other images open down the bottom here that I was working on along the way. So here's my original uh, HAO and S data. Uh, I then created some masks for my forex here uh, and removed the stars, um, created various versions of forex before I decided on this one. Uh, and if I go to my history explorer for this image, and choose, I think this one's called Tarantula 2 here, then you can see all the processes I did on this image along the way. And in my History Explorer, I can, in this left-hand column here, I can double click there and it takes me back to where I was. So I can move through my imaging or my processing uh, to the point that I'm currently at now. Um, so it, it's quite non-destructive. I can backtrack, uh, I could backtrack, let's say I thought this was too much saturation, for instance, I could backtrack before I did the saturation boosting here at the noise exterminator stage. And I could make a duplicate of that image. Um, and, and then I'd have another image uh, to work with without damaging this one. So then I could move this one back to the, the final saturation stage here and I'd be able to compare the two images. Uh, so it's quite non-destructive. Photoshop users, as I say, are, are quite used to doing uh, this kind of thing with layers. But if, if at this point in my imaging, if I just went to File, Save As, and save this as a, an EXIF or a, a TIFF or a JPEG, um, and then closed PixInsight, um, it would warn me that there's unsaved data because of all these other images here. But if I close that and then reopen this image at a later stage, I've only got this image. I don't have all these other images here. I don't have the process icons that I was working on this image. Uh, I've lost all that. So in a sense, once I've saved it and closed it, it, it can be destructive. The way around that is to go to instead file, save project. Um, now you might all know this, but uh, it's something worthwhile pointing out, I think, so that everyone knows it's there. You can save a project rather than a file. And if I save this project, what that does is it saves exactly what's here. It saves all of the images, all of the process icons uh, that I used along the way and the history of all those images as well. And it saves all that as EXIF files, so you don't lose um, any resolution along the way, which is fantastic. Uh, then you can load the project like I did for this one, and all of your images and processing icons are still here at full resolution, and you can go back through the history state, not just for this image, but any of the other images as well. I can open up the History Explorer here for 4 x 2 and see what I've done on it and step forwards and backwards as well. So it's a really powerful idea to work non-destructively. So there we go. I might be preaching to people that already know how to save projects, but it's worthwhile pointing out, uh, just in case you didn't know, that there is a way to work non-destructively uh, and have all of the power of something like Photoshop, but with all the power of PixInsight as well. Thanks for watching.